Concept cars come in all shapes and sizes. Some are very close to production and are meant to tease the public with what's coming, and some are pure thought experiments that have no basis in reality. And I have stumbled across what may be the ugliest concept car, potentially of all time, and I'm gonna share it with you right now. All right, my friends, welcome back to All Cars. I'm John, and like I said, uh, concept cars can be a little out there. They can really have no basis in reality. And I stumbled across this literally today, and I can't believe I've never seen it before. This is hideous. Now, I've done videos about the worst concept cars of the 80s and the 90s, this is from 1977, and it is the Volkswagen Kolani. Now, forgive me if I pronounced that name wrong. It is actually named after the designer. If I mispronounced it, I'm sorry. But this thing is utterly hideous. Now, to answer where the heck this thing came from, the first is to know it was a concept, a potential successor for the Beetle that would fit between the Polo and the Golf is where they were intending. And it was designed by an industrial designer by the name of Luigi Colani. Now this guy has a really fascinating history that spans from the 50s on, including uh, designing ergonomic utensils for airlines and aerodynamic semi-trucks, right? He did a lot of work. He became very fascinated with ergonomics. And somewhere in the 70s, he worked with Volkswagen to come up with the Kalani. Now, this first picture here, it's just ugly, okay? And well, I'm gonna say this, as you look through these pictures, there is no angle that makes this car look better. The first thing is, the I, I do kind of like the headlights that stand up, but the grill, what the heck were they thinking here? Isn't it, is it tryptophobia, where you're afraid of a bunch of little holes in things? Well, this grill would absolutely trigger people who look at it. I don't understand why they would have done it this way. You know, from the side, it's awkward as well. It's got that weird body line right here. The rear wheel is cut off just a little bit. That rear window on the side is, is oddly shaped to begin with, almost organic. He really liked bio designs. And it kind of shows here, everything's kind of rounded. And once you look at this rear three quarter view down here, it's kind of presentient that he's got the handle, the door handle, kind of scalloped in right there at the rear of the door, but then everything else behind it looks weak. There's elements of other things in here, whether it's a Fiesta, a Polo, a Ford Ka, I can see elements of other things that popped up later, but this semi-circular rear window and just this bubulous shape, it's really, again, there's no, there's no angle where this looks attractive. For all the world, this looks like something that maybe would come out from a, a manufacturer in India or an early Chinese manufacturer. This just really doesn't have any sense of style or elegance or, or classicness to it. On the interior, it's surprisingly normal. I'm not really sure what these openings are around the window unless those are part of the vents. The circular air conditioning vents with the little knobs to move things around. Again, that's a little presentient. And if you look here at the left, uh, where the door would close, it's actually got the VW symbol in the molded portion of the dashboard where probably the air comes through to the side vents for the window. I don't know that for sure, but that's what I'm thinking. My big questions are really, what the heck is going on with the gear shifter right here? And two, the seats are split. Why? I, I don't know. It, I, I'm curious to know whether that was studied and then rejected or if it was just a design exercise. We see this in the thigh support on some luxury cars where the 
thigh portions will roll out separately, but not in the cushion itself. But the gear shifter, I'm not sure what's going on there. It's almost like you would put your hand like this and then shift it with that knob in between it. And then I just realized that if you look at the steering wheel, it actually, where we would put the airbag today, you actually see a VW symbol molded into it. So that's all today. Super short video, guys, because this is hideous. <laughs> this is one of the ugliest cars I've ever seen, and it really offends me. And I wanted to share it with you because this has just never come up for me as something I've ever seen before. I'm sure there's other concept cars that have just, I've missed them in my life. But if you know of a car, a concept car that never made a production, that's uglier than this, leave me a comment below and let me know so I can go check it out. I appreciate you being here and I look forward to your comments. Thanks.